Voters in Malaysia got an early start on Sunday. This election is viewed as one of the most important in the country's history, and the turnout was heavy at nearly 8,000 polling stations. Many people sense a possibility for change. Pre-election poll numbers showed the opposition has a real chance of beating the coalition that has governed the country since it gained independence from Britain 56 years ago. The man leading that challenge is Anwar Ibrahim, who was one of the first major political leaders to cast his ballot. We see, inshallah, um, all signs um, with the groundswell. We are very, very optimistic. But Prime Minister Najib Razak expressed his confidence his coalition will retain its majority in parliament. By midday, nearly 60 percent of Malaysia's registered voters had cast their ballots. I think there are people who wanted to have change. There are also people who want to maintain the same government. So we had to... It's, it's an important election to us. I think if you look at the sentiment on the ground, people are ready to change. I think the abuse of power, corruption has, has certainly touched uh, an entire fraction of society. The campaign was heated and there have been accusations of fraud on election day. Some voters say the indelible ink used to mark those who voted washes off. The growing youth voter bloc has the numbers to tip the scales for the opposition. Many more are voting this time and are much more motivated than ever before. That's thanks to access to non-traditional media, exposing them to a wider spectrum of views than the government-backed newspapers and television stations. They really are eager to make their votes count, and I think this is very, very positive um, for the future, and I hope that more young Malaysians come out to vote. But no matter who wins, Malaysians say their country has already changed. Even if the opposition doesn't win, I think that that spirit will at least carry forward for the next five years, and I think the government will at least, ha at least have to be on their toes, you know, yeah, for the next five years. So for now, Malaysians of all ages wait for the results. Will they have a new government, or will the longest ruling coalition in the world stay on for another five years?